Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome to another Black Series 6 inch action figure review. We're looking at the one, the only, Grief Karga. This is number 6 from The Mandalorian. Uh, really great looking figure, awesome character. Um, glad they went with the Season 1 look, uh, just to continue, complete you know, all the Season 1 characters first. I know the vintage collection version of Grief Karga is coming out in his Season 2 appearance, so Hopefully we'll get them flipped around again at some point in the near future. Um, but yeah, really happy to have just a good looking Season 1 Grief Kage. He looks fantastic. Um, the artwork on the side. Carl Weathers. What an absolute man. <laughs> he is fantastic. Look at the back. Right up there about Grief Kage. Fantastic artwork there on the side. Really looking forward to this one as well. So let's uh, let's crack it open and have a look. And here is Grief Karga, fresh out of the packaging. The disgraced former magistrate, now bounty hunter guild leader. He is another fantastic figure. Great likeness to the character. Let's get a close up look at his his face and the photo reel paint apps. It's a uh, Pretty damn bang on to me. Um, one thing I do wish Hasbro could find a way to do, and that is just take away that gloss a little bit. Um, I know people have, uh, I did it myself to the Ahsoka, the most recent Clone Wars Ahsoka is just hit it with a bit of a, a matte clear spray and that uh, took a bit of the gloss off. But uh, is, if Hasbro could do that before we get them home, um, we'll save some money on spray paint and the figures will just look even better. Because, uh, yeah, you, you get some nice sort of matte finish on the forehead there, but I think it has to do more with the uh, facial print. Um, and that process tends to get a little bit of gloss, whereas I think a matte finish would uh, just really take these figures again to another level. Fantastic. Not all of them have been like that, but this is uh, one example of that sort of a little bit too glossy look. But uh, that's fine. So it does come with two blasters, which he's holding in his hands present. There's the other one. Those are two holsters fitted to each side. These blasters do fit in very nicely. Again, I like his, uh, his sort of half cape, half trench coat, half... Well, there's only two halves, isn't there? <laughs> so, um, this sort of really little pin there. I can't really tell what that symbolises, but uh, so there's a belt buckle there. Really nice, just those little details are fantastic. Even the sort of pattern on his on his uniform here, really nicely done. Down the pants, boots, and uh, back around the back there. Missed a little bit of paint and has chipped off on his head there or something stuck to it. It's alright, it's a simple black marker, we'll tidy that up, no problemo. Again, I'm just I'm really loving like the colour scheme they're using for the characters in Mandalorian. Uh, they're all set apart very differently. I like this, it's got browns and burgundies and a sort of mustard yellow on the sleeve almost. Um, yeah, just Really hitting it beautifully. These gloves. He's got all the good Black Series articulation. He does have a great movement there in the neck. Thanks to a ball joint in the top of the neck and in the bottom of the neck as well. So you need him shooting up at uh, Gideon flying his TIE Fighter away. You can do that. Fantastic. Uh, looks like he has butterfly joints hidden in there as well. Which is nice. I'd like to I'd be interested to see what sort of body's underneath because this whole outfit here at the top, this top half of his shirt, is all like a soft, soft rubber that they've put over the top of an existing sculpt. So it's not actually part of the sculpt of the base of the figure. So whether or not they're taking some liberties with, uh, you know, just the, just the basic mold of some some characters. Uh, and giving them separate outfits using a sort of softer, malleable plastic. 
that's okay with me, that's fine, go for it. Um, because that's a, that's a, it's a really good look. Looks good, hides joints, and uh, yeah, very effective, you know, with articulation, it gives a little bit more flex, works an absolute treat. So, another knockout figure, Hasbro, thank you very much. Um, you've got one more from this wave. Again, thank you very much, goodiestoys.com.au, for hooking me up with this figure, Grief Cargo. He is uh, absolutely fantastic, he's brilliant in season two. Uh, yeah, I hope we get a season two version of Grief one day. That'd be fantastic. All right, folks, let me know in the comments below what you think of Grief Karga in the six-inch Black Series line. Love to hear your thoughts and uh, yeah, see what you th see what you all reckon. Um, please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do, and uh, hit the notification bell so you get all the goodies as soon as they drop. Till my next video, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.